guys, Andrea Mills here. Thank you guys for coming over today. I am going to show you um, something I made to help us with getting dressed in the morning. So I, the other day I was talking about why we wear matching clothes. And so some of you were wondering how we know what clothes we're gonna wear on any particular day. So we always, well, early on, I used to just tell the kids which color. I would just, you know, whatever was clean, I knew everybody had one. I'd say, you know, we're gonna wear red today or we're gonna wear blue or whatever. And I tell them that the night before. Um, so when they went to bed, I would say, this is what we're gonna wear tomorrow. Um, eventually though, I had made a little system where I had little shirts that were different colors and they hung on a hook in our bathroom. And I would change the one to the front that I wanted them to wear. But that did tell everybody that came to the bathroom in the morning what we were supposed to wear for the day. But the downside of that one was that I had to interact with it every day and it was hanging above our trash can and a couple of times one of the shirts fell off into the trash can and I didn't notice and that was the end of that. So the system became less and less useful as um, things got lost and I never did replace them and so I, we just stopped using it. So after that is when I just came up with the idea of always wearing everything in the same order so that we didn't have to make a decision. I'm all about you know, getting rid of all of those decisions that I can so I can save my brain power for the important stuff. So we started wearing kind of in rainbow order after that. So we start with red, then orange, then um, green, and the different shades of blue that we have, and so on. So that's what we've been doing now for quite a long time. Then we, add, we had nine colors doing it that way, and that was fine. The older kids did fine with that system. The little guys still had to have me tell them all the time what they were gonna wear. But since we've been adding in a few new colors, it's getting a little more complicated, um, partly because they had learned the routine and now that I'm inserting new colors into the old system, it's easy to skip over and accidentally not wear the right thing. So the other day I got in the mail this um, French toast catalog and we sometimes get shirts from there if I can't find them in uh, the color I want from somewhere else. They're a little more expensive from this company, so that's why I usually order from Walmart if I can, but if I can't get a color I need, then I get it from French Toast. So this catalog came in the mail, and it had this little picture on the back that I thought was super cute with all the um, shirts and a circle there, and I thought, that's it. That would look really cute for a chart to help us remember what colors we're gonna wear. So. I went ahead and I made one on my computer and um, I would have liked to have had real pictures of shirts like the one on this ad but I couldn't it was gonna be way too complicated to get all the right colors so I just found I use um, the print shop I have a print shop 23 I believe is the one I have so I just found a shirt in print shop and then I just copied it and changed the color of the shirt to get all the colors that we needed and then I arranged them in a big circle and then I put this little what color are we wearing today thing in the middle and um, then if like today we're wearing purple here so we can just look at the chart we know what we wore today so then tomorrow that means we're wearing black I also went ahead and put the names of everything on it because um, I felt like just in case somebody was not sure what the color was supposed to represent, they know what we actually call the color. So um, I just put the name to further clarify what we are wearing on a particular day. So I've already hung up the one that I made for the boys' closet in their room, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I've been meaning to make this video and I haven't got around to it. So this is the one that will go in the girls' closet. And then I'm actually going to hang one in mine and Tom's closet too so that he doesn't need to ask me what we're going to wear because sometimes if I'm in the shower or something when he's getting dressed then he has to come in the bathroom and ask me what color we're wearing. So this hopefully will help the whole family know what we're wearing every day. I am going to do some more videos on um, not just like how we color coordinate clothes but just how we organize by color with a lot of things. So if you're interested in watching some of those I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. Um, be sure to push the like button if you enjoyed this video and what else should I remember to tell you? I don't know. Just come back again soon and I appreciate you guys coming over today and having this conversation with me. So we'll talk to you soon.